Well, it's been said that a mother is she who can take the place of everyone else, but whose place no one else can take. And it's discovering God's place for her in this world that the missional mom is all about. Author Helen Lee is an award-winning freelance writer and editor, and she joins me now. Welcome. Great to be here. Thank Good you for have having you. me. Now, you are a mom yourself of yeah. three little boys. How old are they? My eldest is nine in about a couple of weeks from now. Then I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old. All right. Well, first of all, I don't know where you found time to write the book, but <laughs> what was the motivation for writing the book, The Missional Mom? Well, I have to go back to when my first son was born about nine years ago. And I loved being a mom, absolutely. It was so precious to hold that new baby boy. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'll confess, I did struggle at the same time. So I had a lot of, I guess you would call it an identity crisis mm. of sorts, where I struggled with trying to figure out how am I supposed to integrate this new role of being a mom with all the other parts of my identity that I had had mm -hmm. up to that point, being a writer, being in business, having had a chance to go to school mm -hmm. and get an education. Well, you, I mean, I've got to, you know, let our viewers know, you are quite a busy lady. <laughs> I mean, not only are you a freelance author with, and you've made contributions to Christianity Today, Today's Christian Woman, but also you are the co-founder of the Best Christian Workplaces Institute. Mm -hmm. Like, you're a busy lady. That's something that I did at the same time that my first son was born. So it was my way of trying to figure out a way to keep my gifts going to be able to use my mm -hmm. abilities in some way for some purpose, but I struggle with that decision, trying to figure out how do I do both, or can I do both, or is it okay that I want to do both, and I felt guilty for wanting to continue to use my gifts even after I became a mom, and I do mm -hmm. think that's what a lot of Christian mothers struggle with. They want to be great mothers, mm -hmm. they want to be invested in their children, but at the same time, they have these tensions mm -hmm. inside of them because they don't know how to orchestrate being that great mom with some of these other gifts and, and well, ad ad abilities that they yeah, have. You know what, motherhood comes with so many uh, different feelings yes. associated with it. Guilt, not being the least of which, yes. because you're feeling like, okay, am I doing this right? right. Especially a first time mom, and, and am I everything this baby needs? I don't know, am I missing something? Mm. But then to have the guilt associated with it that, you know what, I kind of miss not having a life outside of these walls mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And so what do you mean by a missional mom? What does missional mean? So I was given the opportunity to write about the missional church, and that gave me an introduction to this idea that being missional is about encouraging each and every believer to embrace the calling that God has given each one of us. And it's the same for all of us, to be His missionary mm -hmm. in the world around us, to be His witness, to be His disciple maker. This is constant for all of us. And that gave me the context within which to start understanding my role as a mother, that I had to understand that first and foremost, I'm God's missionary, mm -hmm. and that I live that out through motherhood and through other avenues as He's called me. But it just gave me a bigger picture to understand that I'm not a mother first, I'm God's child mm -hmm. and His missionary mm -hmm. first and foremost. And, be, and motherhood is one of the great ways that I get to live that out. So it gave me a, a framework, a context within which to understand motherhood in a new way. And for me, meeting other moms that I got a chance to write about in the book helped me to just open up a new understanding of what it meant to be a mom mm -hmm. who embraces your gifts mm -hmm. and your calling, as well as being invested in your home and in your children. Well, you do write about a lot of different kinds of missional mm -hmm. moms. You talk about the missional mom uh, that loves the least of these. Mm -hmm. In fact, in that chapter, you highlight a very uh, famous missional mom, especially if you've been to the movies in the last <laughs> couple of years because uh, Sandra Bullock portrayed her in the movie The Blind Side. That's right. So that was a wonderful story, I thought, of a mother who absolutely embraced this idea of being missional. And she was someone, Leah Tui, who basically found someone, found a child, a teenager, who needed a place to stay. And it started off as simple as that, meeting a boy who needed a place to stay and extending her home for that purpose. And I thought, okay, that is an example of a missional mom, someone who is sensitive to the needs around her and then who takes action, mm. who takes initiative 
in the lives of another. So sometimes I think that we as moms, we get so caught up in our own families, mm -hmm. in just what's happening within our own homes, we forget to keep our eyes open to what's happening around us. And it's easy to do because, yeah. I mean, we're so busy. Everyone yes. leads such busy lives. Mm -hmm. And to just keep up with my children's needs mm -hmm. and my home's needs, you know, not to mention the rest of the world, really can drain your energy. And by the end of the day, you don't have anything to give to anybody else, mm -hmm. do you? It can be that way, absolutely. So we have to be careful as mm -hmm. mothers that we are not getting so caught up in just what's going on in our own lives. We forget that we're supposed to have an outward or orientation as Christians. And that's the missional idea. Missional is all about looking outside of yourselves. Missional is all about having an outward orientation and not being someone who is continually thinking inward mm -hmm. all the time. So I think that's exactly what God is calling us to mm -hmm. as Christians, to be outward looking, to be outward focused, looking at the needs around us, looking at the needs of people around us and reaching out and building relationships with those who need those. And I can't help but wonder what that kind of outlook that the mom would have, mm -hmm. how that would translate then into the lives of the children as well. They would model what they see, wouldn't they? Absolutely. So the children pick up so quickly when the parent had that kind Kind of missional perspective. I think actually kids have an incredible heart yeah. and openness for being missional. And as the parents start trying to help their kids understand what it means to be missional and start helping their kids learn how to do that in their own lives, modeling it for their children, their children pick up so, so quickly and they learn how to embrace ideas of generosity and mm -hmm. hospitality and these kinds of values that we all want to exhibit as Christians, but sometimes we get so caught up in our own lives we forget to. So mm -hmm. missional families are intentional about trying to continue to pursue those kinds of values so that their children also yeah. learn what it means. So does